So this is a multi-series uh, video series that I'm doing on creating a power app from a SharePoint list. And we're on step eight now. So view the other steps if you haven't viewed them. And what we're gonna focus on today is adding different icons to our application and then adding um, uh, select criteria to those icons as well. So let's go ahead and jump right to it. So we're here within our, our Power App area. You can create this again um, from a SharePoint list or just create and create one from scratch, Power App from scratch. But today we're gonna focus on these icons. So here we can download these icons, any one of them, they work great. There's, they have lots of them. So you can put whatever you want on, on your, um, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. You can put whatever you want on your application. So they make it look a little nicer. We can also turn these things into actions. So let's take a look and see what that action looks like on the browse screen. This is an icon right here. Now notice here the action that it has here. It tells us that we're gonna create a new form, edit form number one. And if you notice here, we're in a different area. We're gonna to go to back to here and we're gonna to go to tree view and then click on that again. And do you see where it says, I just want you to kind of track where we're tracking, see edit screen one right there. And then as you go down in it, edit form one. So it's actually saying I'm going to that, whoops, looks like I just clicked off of it. I'm going to that actual screen, right? That edit, um, where was it? Right here, edit form one. And then I'm gonna navigate to the edit screen one. So notice here, edit screen one, that's where I'm navigating to. And, and I can, I'm doing no screen transition. Let's see, we could use a screen transition like we used here, which is cover. So we could go back here to browse and uh, click on the plus sign. And we could say none or we could say cover. Okay. And you can see some other options right here under C. And you can look up the other options for screen transition. So I'm going to say cover there just just to make it look interesting. Okay, so that's all we're doing. So essentially we're creating a new form using the edit form one format in order to do that. So if we go over to edit form one, this now is adding, asking for additional information. Okay, so that's pretty easy when you start breaking it down. Here, we'll look at one more here. Here, edit form. Okay, remember on the plus sign, we were doing a new form. We tell it which form. And then here on our detail screen, we're actually editing a form and we're calling that out, edit screen, screen transition, none again. So we can add anything we like here. You can see that it's doing other on select actions as well as here to navigate back to the browse screen one. Remember it's calling it browse screen one right here. So my point here is that you may not know a lot about what these buttons are doing, right? Here we're refreshing this list, okay? And we're reordering, updating it, and we can change all of these values. So to find these values, you're gonna need to Google this. There's lots of great information online on all of these values in the on select values for Power Apps but you can do endless things. So when we're looking here at our second page and we wanna go do something, notice we already put one in there, but we could add that, whoops, where were we? Must've been on this page. We could do anything we want with this exit, things of that nature. So look up what the actual commands are here. When you do on select, you'll see a whole bunch of them and um, then you're good to go. You can create any of these icons and any actions you like. You don't have to, by the way, use the icons. You can just use them as you know illustrations as well. You don't have to have an action associated with them per se, uh, but they do come in handy and allow for some nice navigation to occur within the environment, kind of spruce up the way your application works and looks.